Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where we're doing another speed art drawing. I know it's been a little while since we did one of these. I'm kind of surprised myself so uh, yeah bear with me while I, I go for this one. But anyway we are drawing Knuckles from the Sonic series and this is a request from my Patreon Captain Thundercrash who you see in a lot of my videos and on my Thursday night streams but he really wanted us to draw a beat up Knuckles. I don't know why he wanted us to draw a beat up knuckles but here we are we're on to the beat up knuckles now i have a slight personal anecdote when it comes to this character uh when i was very young i used to live um in, in a place that is uh well it's an army base but it had a, a well-known school and one of the people that went there was absolutely obsessed with Sonic. A young lad, I can't remember his name. I can remember his face weirdly, but I can't remember his name. And we were really close until this new kid moved in. And he also really liked Sonic, but he didn't like the fact that I was friends with the only other Sonic gamer slash comic reader, because I really liked the comics and the TV show when I was like about six, I think. Um, and he didn't like the fact I was a girl, so he stopped me talking to this dude. And this this kid, the kid that was my friend, his favourite character was Knuckles. And I'm not sure, because I haven't really got back into Sonic. I haven't played any of the games other than the original side-scrollers with Tails. I think it's Sonic 2 or 3 that I played on the Sega Mega Drive. Uh, he kind of created a character that was like the female equivalent of Knuckles, so we could run around the... The, the playground just having fun and pretending to be like echidnas because that's the kind of thing you do when you're six years old uh yeah so that that's why i like knuckles but we're gonna actually discuss knuckles as a character now because uh, that would be a very sensible thing to discuss considering we're doing a speed drawing of him so if you don't know, and as I've already mentioned, Knuckles is an echidna. An echidna is a very strange marsupial creature. If you don't know what a marsupial is, think along the lines of platypus, ca kangaroos, things very stereotypically kind of centered in Australia, which uh, means he's an Aussie mate, don't you know? I'm just joking, this is a, a personal headcanon for me because it's funny. But he's an anthropomorphic echidna, obviously, and is the, also the current guardian of the Master Emeralds, a powerful ancient gemstone set which is kept on the Angel Island. Guarding it is his solemn duty to protect from anyone seeking to abuse it, as well as the sole surviving descendant of the echidna race from the Knuckles clan. Known for his powerful and wild nature, his dominant traits are his super strength and the two spike-like knuckles on each of his gloves from which his name is derived and from which he can dig and climb walls with. And they also, if you look really closely, look just like some punching gloves with two spikes on the end, which makes me think that, you know, like it would be really funny to see a, uh, did they do that actually in the Mario versus Sonic, like Olympics, did they do boxing? I can't remember. It's been so long since I looked at anything to do with the Wii. Um, he can also trap the wind under his dreadlocks to glide through the air. Now that is, um not something i thought i'd ever hear using your hair to glide but gotta have some fun none knuckles is also one of sonic the hedgehog's oldest friends and rivals so they've known each other for a while yes there is a h in there he's a loner by nature which makes no sense considering he's one of sonic's oldest friends Headstrong and serious, yet gullible and short-tempered to a fault. Oh, why are all us angry people gullible? I feel you, Knuckles. I feel you so much. He's entirely devoted to his duty, spending most of his time on Angel Island protecting the Master Emerald, and rarely cares about anything that is of no importance. Okay, <laughs> but what's of no importance to you is not of no importance to anyone else. Anyway, when his friends and others are in need of his help, however, Knuckles can always be relied upon, being willing to leave his home very often. So that's kind of conflicting. I don't know about you guys, but that's very conflicting to me. Though usually depicted as the guardian of the Master Emerald, he was originally destroyed. Dis he was originally described as the guardian of the Angel Island's seven Chaos Emeralds, which 
that's probably why I used the plural when I first described it at the beginning of this video, because uh, it was the Chaos Emeralds, not the overall Master Emerald that I remembered him having. So, the concept and creation of Knuckles. Knuckles was created and designed by Takashi Yuda during the conception of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. The development team wanted to create a new rival for Sonic, and the final design of Knuckles was the result of dozens of possible designs inspired by numerous different animals and usage of the market research about American kids' tastes, which is something I find very interesting that this was a specifically American orientated thing, even though you know, it kind of had more... Uh, I, the way I always remember it is it was like created in Japan and I always found it very strange that it had a lot of American influences. Or is that just me? Am I just being weird? But anyway, <laughs> anyway... There were eight different candidates with the most popular one being Knuckles with his dreadlocks. Though I don't really think they're dreadlocks. The way it's drawn, it looks more like just spikes and flaps of skin kind of like uh, tendrils or tentacles they don't really have the texture and the definition for dreadlocks for me but maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong uh, one design even planned knuckles to be more reptilian like a dinosaur due to the popularity of Jurassic Park at the time knuckles long tail in the final design is stated to be a remnant from his early more dinosaur looking design and when it came to Knuckles primary colour, red and green were proposed candidates among the staff, while Yuji Naka was pushing more towards purple, which I don't think would have worked as well, so red is good. However, after conducting research on American children, it was revealed that red was overwhelmingly popular, which of course, like I just said, red is good, thus being chosen for the character's colour. The emphasis of the character was to break walls. Character designer Sakashi Yuda never intended to him for him to be any more than a supporting character. Knuckles was introduced in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as an intimidator because of his powerful abilities, and he was given a headlining role in the next game, Sonic and Knuckles, which was never supposed to happen. As said before, Knuckles is an anthropomorphic echidna with red fur that covers most of his body, a black nose on his peach-skinned muzzle, a white crescent-shaped patch of fur on his chest, and purple eyes, though you can't really see that they're purple because it's so far away and it's such a dark-coloured purple it looks black. That I do not agree with. He also has seven dreadlock-like spines around the side of his and back of his head and a medium sized tri crooked tail. For a tire, Knuckles wears red and yellow shoes, each with green cuffs, light grey soles, and metallic septuple bolted plates on top. He also wears large white mitten like gloves with sock like cuffs and two spiked knuckles on each hand. In his younger years, Knuckles had black eyes, which is why we all know him as having black eyes, and a more protruding chest more defined cheekbones and was slightly shorter in height but he has since grown out of these traits. In the Sonic Riders series, Knuckles wears purple and light grey goggles with dark grey straps around his neck and high top tennis shoes similar to his standard shoes. He also wears his standard gloves with a dark grey band around each wrist. And in The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, Knuckles wore a brown cowboy hat with a matching brown vest that had a gold sheriff star on it. So there you go, overall a little bit about Knuckles from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. I do hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for Captain Thundercrash for requesting this video. As always everybody, take care, have fun, we will see you next time. Goodbye!